With as much content as there is in Roblox stores, there is bound to be some content which was scrapped. These could be minor things such as room layouts, or they could be quite influential such as entire quests. Today I would like to go over probably one of the coolest scrap quests for the game, which I'm sure many of you probably don't even know about. I'll also discuss why it was probably removed, as well as why despite its cons, it should be added back into the game. With all of that being said, let's begin. Alright, so I'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with the many interactable items around the hotel. These would be things such as the bell in the reception room or the globes found throughout the library. When you click on these items, they may produce some audio as well as perform a little animation, but overall they don't really have any practical gameplay use other than being fun things to play with. Now, although these interactable items are cool, the most iconic of them all are definitely the paintings. Paintings can be found all throughout the hotel, and they can come in an absolutely huge number of variations, and they each have a distinct name and appearance. In fact, based on the Doors Wiki, 70 different paintings were documented, including the Tower Heroes ones, which I'm pretty sure are limited. There are also some paintings which haven't been documented on this page, meaning that in total there's even more than that. So, with all of that being said, what does this all have to do with some type of secret quest? Well, apparently, it was confirmed by L Splash that originally there was going to be a badge given to players who interacted with every single painting variant in the game. Yes, every single one. Probably not counting the limited ones, though. However, as you can probably tell, this idea was scrapped. Now, I find this to be a very cool quest concept, and I wish it was introduced into the game. However, it does have its pros and cons, and I'd like to discuss those now. One very obvious downside to obtaining this badge is that players would need to interact with every single painting variation. As I had stated previously, there are over 70 different paintings in the game, and seeing how painting spawns are random, it means getting certain ones would be insanely difficult, as it is basically up to random chance. However, I feel as if players should treat this badge similarly to the 100 of many badge, where it is meant to be obtained naturally during gameplay rather than on purpose. Another downside to this badge is that there really isn't a purpose in doing it. Sure, if you're a badge collector then you'd want to get this, but to normal players it doesn't seem worth the trouble. I do have a solution to this though, and it is actually badge rewards. You see, if a player managed to get one of the Tower Heroes badges, then they would be rewarded knobs or even revives. I honestly think more badges should have these rewards, including this one, and this would give players a reason to actually attempt to get it. Now, I know I stated how this badge would be intended to be obtained naturally during normal gameplay. However, it still would be beneficial to those who do want to get it intentionally, as they would be given an incentive to play the game more, and that is always a good thing. Additionally, this badge would give the paintings a greater purpose instead of just solely being for decoration, and I think the added versatility would be greatly appreciated by the community. Overall, although this badge would be difficult to obtain due to its RNG factors, I think it could be a welcome addition to the game for those looking for an extra bit of content to complete. Now, moving on from this specific quest, Splash also mentioned how other interactable items such as typewriters were also meant to get special quests and badges tied with them, and I think those would be welcome additions as well for the game for the same reasons as the Collect All Paintings quest. Like imagine if you could choose which buttons to press on the radio in Jeff's shop, and pressing them in a certain order would reward a secret badge. Wouldn't that be so cool? Really, I just want to see these fun decoration items get a little more more use as it's quite obvious that time and care went into making them function. Anyways, that was basically all I wanted to say about the scrapped painting quest in Roblox stores. I do hope it comes back to the game in a future update, and if it does I think it would be pretty fun trying to collect every single painting for the badge. What do you think about this quest? Leave your opinions in the comments. With all of that being said, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed.